Hey everybody, Corey here with Anytime Fitness and I am bringing to you six tips today on how to better perform a bench press. So take a look at these and see if you can add these into your next lifting routine. All right, I'm back here in the free weight section at the gym and I will go over the first tip that we have for the bench press and that is gonna be your grip. Um, I'll show you here in a second, but the main thing you wanna think about is it is an overhand grip that is going to allow you to lift the bar the correct way. And it is also a grip where you're gonna grab the bar with your thumbs. I know a lot of people will tuck their thumbs behind, but let me show you what I mean by the overhand grip here. So you lay down and put your hands up, and I'm going to grip the bar with a closed thumb. I'm going to come over the top instead of tucking it under here. That is going to help you to stabilize the bar and help you lift it properly. All right, now the next tip is going to be hand placement. So we've got the grip, we've got an overhand grip with the thumb closed. Now the next one is where I'm gonna place my hands. And there are a few different ways that you can do this to target different muscles in your chest and your upper body. But the standard grip that we're gonna do is gonna be slightly wider than shoulder width. And I'll show you what that looks like here. Now that we've got our grip and our hand placement, we wanna know where our body is gonna line up to do this bench press. Now you wanna give yourself enough space so that you can lift the bar off and as you're doing the exercise, you're not hitting the bar on the rack, but you don't want to have to drag it too far down your body. So in essence, you want your eyes to line up about underneath the bar as you're laying on the bench. And that's gonna look like this. All right, tip number four. So we've got our grip, hand placement, body placement. Um, the fourth tip is going to be what your feet are gonna do. So you want your feet flat on the ground, not up on the bench or not on your tippy toes. You wanna have them flat on the ground um, to help assist you in that lift. All right, as I'm laying down, see my feet are flat on the ground. Don't wanna be up on your tippy toes like this. Don't want your feet on the bench. Sure. Have a nice stable base to have your feet on the ground as you do your bench press. All right, now we're on tip number five, and that is to steady your head, your neck, and your shoulders. Sometimes when you're doing bench press, your head feels like it wants to come up off of the bench. Um, it also is an op opportunity for your shoulders to roll forward when you get to the top of the bench press. Um, so we want to make sure to keep those steady and stable on the bench at all times. It looks like this. That brings us to tip number six, um, watching your head, your shoulders, and your back and your butt as you lift. Now, obviously you're not gonna watch those because you're doing the lift, but you wanna focus on keeping your butt on the bench and keeping a minimal arch in your lower back. Now, there's been some debate on this, but um, the more that you arch your lower back as you are bench pressing, the easier it is to strain your muscles in your low back. So, it's gonna look like this. I'll show you what to do and what not to do. All right, I hope those tips help you a little bit more in your bench press. And for more information, you can click on the link below. Um, it's going to take you to our Anytime Fitness blog that will detail this a little bit more. Thanks and have a great day, guys.